Sophia Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. This week I'll be doing a collaboration with the amazing artist Monique Renee. I'll leave links for you to check out her channel so you can see her colouring in the line work that I do and later on in this video I colour in her line work. So if you want to check out how she does her lines or anything like that, please feel free to check out her channel and to see the actual colourisation of this, check out her channel as well. So for our collaboration, we decided that we wanted to take our favourite franchises, our favourite fan art, um, fandoms and the that and the other that we both absolutely love and create them into mermaid. Since it's still mermaid, uh, we want to do something a little bit different, a little bit unique for our fandoms that we both enjoy. So I got to ink and line Rose Quartz and Monique Rene did Princess Serenity from Sailor Moon. Um, we added our own twists to it. Um, cut, did our lines, swapped lines, and then coloured each of his lines. Um, I've never actually, well, I've done a few collaboration videos before, but I've never actually done lines and swapped it with someone, so this was very, very fun for me to do. Uh, for people wondering what paper I'm using, I'm using my uh, mixed media paper, Faber Castell, I'm using Unipin Fine Liners, um, using different like sizes to be able to get the size that I want. I wanted to go really detailed with this, so I wanted to have like an overly detailed um, bottom piece to make it a nice statement and make her tail really lovely and flowy. I kind of wanted to, to invoke what the outfit is in Steven Universe for Rose Quartz, um, just because she has this beautiful, like lovely, flowy bottom dress. And the whole original idea was I was going to layer it, but instead, because there is so much hair at the top and there is such a big detail piece at the bottom, I didn't want to overdo it with the tail. I really, really did enjoy doing this piece and I really have to thank Monique Renee um, for actually wanting to collaborate with me because I absolutely adore her work, I absolutely am so excited uh, to see how she colours this in um, just because I really enjoyed making the lines for this and I really cannot wait to see how she colours it and what she does with it. So please make sure to check out her video um, so you can see how she actually colours these lines and make sure to check out her amazing channel. And if you've come over from her channel, hello and welcome to my channel. I do lots of I do lots of drawing. <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe this channel. <laughs> so with um, uh, Rose Quartz's hair, she has a lot of hair and she almost has like these bee drills that can consistently turn and it's trying to create that interesting look without making it look too much like heavy ringlets. Um, and the simple way to do ringlets is create a tube like effect and make sure you're going in your lines the same way that the curl is going. Um, you want to have interesting shapes within a curl um, just to break it up so it looks interesting and it breaks up all those shapes and just makes it look a little bit more fun. Um, I think the longest I spent was probably on the hair and the detail piece at the bottom and overall this line work took around about, I think about two hours in total just because it was so much detail and here's the final look of my lines and everything that I did and if you want to see this colours in as I said make sure to check out Monique Renee's channel so you can see the final results I'm really really happy with these lines and I cannot wait to see what she does with them it's so exciting <laughs> so let's get on to my colouring um so Monique sent me the, so this is my lines, this is what I did, and this is Monique's line, and I am so excited to colour this. Um, Princess Serenity is, like, uh, slash Sailor Moon, is one of my favourite all-time all series. It's a series that I can always remember that really got me into anime and manga, and um, as I said, if you want to see what Monique does with my lines, make sure to check them out. So... My first thing I did was I actually did a few test pieces before I did this um, just to make sure that the paper was going to work, where that was going to work because I had to print these out onto some paper and um, double check to see whether or not this paper was actually going to work the way I wanted it to um, with these markers. Uh, for anyone wondering, I am using Letcher Set and Windsor Newton Pro markers. There is no difference between them, it's just some of them are the rebranded ones and I bought a load of the old ones because... Um, they were cheap 
at the time. And the whole idea with this was just to keep layering, to try and keep, create different proportions. I wanted to keep it very pastel coloured, very light, um, to try and blend all the colours that you can see in the uh, in like the show, but also try and create a little bit more unique pattern to it. I wanted to make it very um, ethereal almost within the colouring, but at the same time keep it very true to what was in the show. Um, I think the good thing is when you're doing collaborations and you're doing different people's lines, it's you're thinking about how the person approaching the lines originally would have thought that this piece would go. And I don't know what Mo um, Momo would have done with these. I don't know what Monique would have done with these in any way, shape or form. But when I saw the tail, I just thought maybe it has like loads, loads of these iridescent scales and um, it'll, it'll be one base colour and then build up on top of it. Um, I think the thing I had the most fun with it, with all this was just trying to think of like, outside of the box with my colouring and think of like, okay, what can I do to create different shapes, to create different line work. And you'll notice that I put down a base colour of blue, build up with purple, and then put a very, very light tone over for the white areas. Because I think sometimes when you are creating a piece and if you're putting too much white on it, it can look a little odd. Um, so I think like putting like a small more off cream colour would actually really suit this piece a lot um, especially when it came to the white areas there's so much I think is like when you look at snow it isn't just white it builds up in different layers it builds up in different colours and that's what I was trying to think of when I did sorry if my voice seems a little bit off by the way I'm actually recovering from a really bad bout of flu um, so if my voice seems a little bit off or if my throat seems a little bit croaky that's why um, so after I'd built up my colour layers, I went through with some white gel pen to highlight certain areas. And, and I also went in with my coloured pencils to um, bring textures to certain areas where the markers just wouldn't bring enough texture in. Um, I really enjoy doing mixed media pieces and if I would have approached this differently and done it with different paper, I may have actually done this with watercolours um, just because I could imagine that would have created a softer, lighter effect. As for the background, um, I tried to keep it simple because I wanted most of the detail to come to the front of the illustration rather than the back of the illustration. Um, I was thinking maybe just different shades of blue and then build on top with like different colour areas. Like Momo's lines are really lovely to colour and I really cannot thank her enough yet again for collaboration uh, together and I would love to do more collaborations like this in the future with like other channels um, just because I think it's interesting how you both would take the same approach and maybe colour it slightly differently maybe think of it as a different approach um, and overall like Everyone's colouring styles are not the same. Everyone approaches things in different ways. For example, when I like to create a flat area, I will do small circles with the markers um, just because it's less likelihood of you getting a patchy area when you're doing small circles with it. Um, I think the thing I found the most difficult was with the background area, I didn't want it to be like, oh, this is, this is seaweed, so it almost be green. Um, so I was trying to create like different color effects with it. Um, and I didn't actually quite practice this part beforehand because I was more concentrating on the front half of it. Um, so I was trying to create like different color ways to make it a little bit more interesting in the background, but without distracting from the overall uh, front facing image. Um, so that we would have the main focus on the actual Sailor Moon piece itself. Overall though, I absolutely do 100% adore Monique Renee's work. And if you haven't checked her, her channel yet again, please do. She is a wonderful creative artist who always thinks outside of the box and she is such an inspiration to me. Um, it kind of, it was an honor to be able to work together and do a fun collaboration. I just enjoyed collaborating and doing something outside of the box that you wouldn't normally do. I, well, let's say a few things about the actual show itself. Sailor Moon was a show that I grew up with um, way before Sailor Crystal came out or anything like that. Um, and the original series was such a huge inspiration to my work and who I was as an artist. Um, it got me excited about anime and got me excited about magical girl shows and it's such a big massive influence to so many shows and so many artists today that it's kind of iconic in the way it is and 
we both um, absolutely are obsessed with Sailor Moon and we're both obsessed with Steven Universe because both shows have such a creative mindset and are so influential and iconic for what they are. It just felt it was nice to do mermaids of them. Um, it sort of kind of takes a different approach to fan art and when you are doing fan art it sometimes helps to make it a little bit more unique and a little bit more you. Um, and mermaids, since it has been mermaid, uh, we've both been obsessed with drawing mermaids and it just, it made sense. It was just such a fun collaboration to do and I cannot thank Momo enough yet again uh, for letting me do this. So I'm just going to do the final section here where I'm just building up my layers and a little bit more texture here and there just to make it a little bit more interesting um, and just to create like that sort of textured effect which is going to make it pop a little bit more. Sometimes it helps to create texture on top of a marker illustration just because it helps those certain areas pop. And then here I'm using the Prisma colours. Um, as always there are links to all the equipment I use down below in case you are interested in checking them out. So here comes our final looks over the Sailor Moon illustration I've uh, coloured and of course the rose quartz final uh, the lines that I have done. If you want to see the results of the lines uh, that I've done, make sure to check out my most channel. I'll leave links so that you can check that out. And here's a few final looks of my coloured lines for the Sailor Moon. I'm really, really happy with the way that these came out and I cannot thank Momo yet again enough for letting me do this amazing collaboration. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out both of our channels if you're interested. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. But as always, folks, stay creative.